from another episode of Ray Fox. <laughs> nah. Oh, man. I am still a little bit hungover. I never drink. I just... Drinking for me... It's just a whole day of fucking, like, recovering. Yeah. I'm like, uh, my face feels, like, puffy. And I've been, like, drinking a shit ton of water. Very dehydrated. And just like... <laughs> but, uh, anyway. So... Went to a crazy mansion party, which was fucking fantastic. It was so cool. So cool. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, some weird shit happened. Did not expect it. It's like, with the whole, like, psychics randomly coming up to me and just, like, telling me shit. Story of my life. <laughs> well, what happened? Just diving into it. Um... I was chilling in the car, the friends and I were sipping wine, and then these other people pop up and uh, they're like, oh, do you guys want like some shots out of like little bottles? And we we're like, fuck yeah, and got a few gin and whatnot. So I was already on wine and I'm drinking shots. <laughs> bad mix, bad mix. But um, yeah, some like uh, little Asian whatever. But um, and their whole group was really cool, and I was like, dude, these people are dope. And later on, I go into the mansion. So, in the mansion, I run into the guy who gave us the drinks all over again. And we were talking, and he's like, yeah, like, I get to, like, travel, like, I'm a flight attendant, and I don't work really that much, and he gets to travel and do cool shit. I was like, that is a fucking dope job. <laughs> so we were just kind of like talking and then later on, well, we split up and then uh, I was hanging out with some random dudes and then he shows up again. And this time, like, he's kind of flirting with them and everything and we're making all sorts of whatever drunk jokes. And at this time, definitely like, bleh. <laughs> but, and then we started talking again, like separately and... So this whole Persephone thing, like, God, this is like so fucking Westworld. It's so fucking Westworld. Like, we literally are playing characters. I don't know how to like explain it. Like, you are you, but you aren't you. This is the vehicle, the soul's in it, and we're just here playing the character. It's a lot. And like I said, I'm in cahoots with Hades and working for him and shit and story of my life. But you know what? I love my job. I love working for Hades. I, I love doing what I do. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I really fucking love what I do. And it's retarded that he's fucking looking like a fucking doppelganger of my ex. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, it's, of course, my ex's soul twin would be that that <laughs> it just makes sense i guess but and it's funny because like right before i started working like i just saw like all these signs twin twin evil twin 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 evil twin but he he hasn't done anything evil like if anything like he's he's been amazing but i don't know so i don't remember everything because i was pretty fucking out of it about the conversation but this fucking guy, like, started talking to me, and he's like, you know, you can't outrun the devil. Like, he's like, you have a character, and you're going to play that character for eternity. And I was like, what are you trying to tell me? Like, are you saying that I'm always going to be tied to the devil? Like, there's no, like, getting away from this? Like, it is what it is, because if you guys know the story of Persephone, it's so funny. I used to fucking, I used to hate mythology back in school. I'm pretty sure I failed the class a few times. I was just like, to me it was boring. I was like, oh, this is just like a bunch of like, I already have enough drama in my like family life. Why do I want to read about drama in God family life? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, yeah, don't want a part of it. I guess if I had actually studied it then, like I'm pretty sure it would have opened the floodgates and I would have found out my past lives and whatnot a lot sooner than I did now, but... Going back, relearning shit, what do you know? And it's just so fucking crazy because 
as the story goes, I didn't really have a choice in the matter. So this other lifetime, I was, it was pretty much, oh, here, take this young girl and uh, take her down to your dark dimension. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and of course, it didn't end that way. Like, obviously, I went back and forth between the two. Maybe I even liked it. But I don't know. So this person starts talking to me and he's like, yeah, like, he's like, I'm a phoenix and I'm going to be here for a while, but not every incarnation do I decide to, you know, um, destroy. <laughs> it's pretty much what he was going on about. I was like, the fuck, who am I talking to right now? You're human, right? You're human. You look human. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, like, what? Is, is this conversation actually happening? What in the world? Like, how does this know? <laughs> and I'm talking, I'm like, this is fucking... But it almost like... And then he also mentioned, because I've been like really chasing money hardcore, and I'm like, ah, like, uh, money, money, money has been in my mind, which usually I just could care less. And now I'm like, I want all the money. It's a little bit of greed. <laughs> but but um, anyway, so he's like, and... The stuff that I'm pretty much doing and spell work on it. He's like, you have, he was like, you need to think of the repercussions of everyone as a whole. He's like, we're all in this together. And if you become very wealthy, realize that everyone in this room right now that you see is going to be affected by the string, the web, the webbing of the spider as well. Because we're all in this web together. So it's like, if I, he's pretty much saying, if I get the wealth, then it, I'm affecting everyone. Like everyone's being affected, like, cause we're all connected. I don't remember all this conversation in detail cause I was a little bit fucked up having it. And then, um, he mentioned, and he's like, and he's like, in he was kind of joking. And he's like, but you love the devil. <laughs> and then he, he was like, um, he, I think he mentioned and the devil loves me or something that he needs love or something I, I don't know I don't remember it might have just been in a dream when I fell asleep under the tree I don't know <laughs> but um that happened and then oh yeah right before I left and then he so my grandma's dad like like mom grandma and it was interesting because I only got contacted once by my dad grandma and she didn't seem happy other than that I haven't had any other contact since mom's been trying to get a hold of me but not so much my grandma and I don't know but it's funny because I, I was thinking about her not too long ago and that might be why she might be trying to get a hold of me but he was like yeah and right before I left he's like you need to get a hold of your grandma and I'm like oh fuck and I've really been putting it off putting it off like as far as like doing the channeling and doing stuff of that nature because I know when I've opened these doors before it also can open doors to a lot of other things, but at that age when I was doing those things, I didn't know how to like really protect myself or anything. So yeah, but then again, if like I don't, that's the thing. I sleep with the fucking lights on. I don't want to fucking be woken up in the middle of the night, some dead person there who I don't even know, being like, "Yo, I need you to contact such and such." And I'm the fuck are you why the fuck oh my god <laughs> you know like i'm just like uh so um it's just a reminder that yeah i there's a lot of work i need to do i'm also going to make some meditation videos on the middle pillar ritual uh created by the golden dawn and some other stuff so that way not only you guys can have the work but i can have the work on YouTube so I can meditate on it so that way I can get better at what I do and maybe help you guys in exploring that realm too. It's it's kind of hard but not that hard. It's just more of how bad do you want it and once it's done it's done. It's like the Kundalini and the third eye activation. Like once you open that shit it's just like done. Unless you like really try hard to close it which I did that for a while. I tried really fucking hard to close it and shit calmed down for a while but I think it's now time to go back and as far as playing out this fucking character and all these lifetimes except for now we're in different roles like I'm like okay well looks like Hades is still over me but there's still a little bit more of a partnership I guess but I don't know I don't know this is so weird it's so fucking weird <sighs> But, you know, my thing is with people, whether I know things about them or not, is 
as long as they don't do anything wrong to me in this lifetime, I have no reason to hold grudges or whatever or cut people out. So I have no reason to get them out of my life. You know, that that's how I feel. But I also had the warning from a psychic many years ago. She's like, uh, be careful, the devil's after you. And that was before I knew about all this shit and who I was. So got to figure this shit out somehow. Till then, play the character, see what happens. Updates later. Peace, love, fuck. I'm going to go to sleep and drink a big gallon of water again. <laughs> All right, bye.